Today I'm going to cover four ways in which strength training improves your bone health. At the end, I'm going to tell you the best way to determine the strength exercise that's right for you and your bones. Hi, I'm Margaret Martin, registered physiotherapist with Melio Guide, and my channel is all about aging well with exercise. The first way are stem cells. Our stem cells, you might not have heard of the term before, but these are cells that reside in our bone marrow and strength training stimulates these cells to become bone cells. To learn more about stem cells and how these stem cells need mechanical stimulation to go on and become bone cells, I invite you to check out my interview with Dr. Clinton Rubin, who's a distinguished professor of biomechanical engineering. The second way in which strength training improves our bones is that the strength training itself helps stimulate osteoblasts. These are cells that are part and an important part of cell remodeling. Our bones are constantly rejuvenating themselves and these osteoblasts are the builders of bones. To learn more about bone remodeling, I invite you to check out my interview with distinguished professor and endocrinologist, Dr. Janet Rubin. The third way in which strength training builds our bones is that it improves the quality of the bones. It's a term we often hear about, especially when people are concerned about fracturing. They have a bone density test that might be low, but they're wondering about their bone quality. So if you're wondering about what bone quality means, then I invite you to look at another interview that I did with Dr. Janet Rubin. The fourth way, we know that when we strength train, we increase our muscle mass. That muscle mass is going to help cushion your bones. The strength training also builds the strength you need to recover from a fall or a mishap. When it comes to a bone strengthening program, you need to consider four things. Now we're talking about four more things. One is what your fracture risk is. What is your current activity level? What is the posture and the quality of movement that you're taking into the exercises that you're performing? And lastly, it needs to build over time. In order to affect your bone, it's not something that you're going to do for one week or one month or even one year. You want to undertake strength training as a gradual, progressive approach to improving your bone health. Not sure if you can find somewhere near you? Well. I've taken all these things into account because like you, so many of my clients couldn't access somebody near them. And so that's why I wrote Exercise for Better Bones. It's a self-directed program that covers both quality of movement and takes you through how to determine your fracture risk, what your activity level, all of these things that allow you then to start at a level that's right for you and build and progress over time. So if you like to learn through a book, that's my exercise for better bones. And if you're more of a visual learner, then over the years I was asked to create videos and there's a number of workout videos for you to choose from. Whatever you choose to do, I really encourage you to get stronger, build stronger bones so that you can have a better quality of life. I'm Margaret at Miller Guide. Thanks for tuning in.